and bye Merry Christmas. Hi guys. Hi guys. We're back. We are back, 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 back again. Ben, ben. We are one us is back, back, back. Tell a friend, friend, friend. I just want to apologise for not posting um, a lot recently, and the content that I have been making hasn't been like me. So we're back, and we're gonna get some good videos up. Some good useful yeah. content um, that will hopefully inspire and like resonate with some of you mm. and resonate with us as well. Yeah. Because we're still like as we're talking about these things, we are still um, overcoming certain things and, and dealing, dealing with, with certain them. things. So whatever we say is not to be like, um, you know, we're great and, and this this just is our, our experience in dealing with those things. So we're gonna start with a brief overview of our twenty eighteen. Um, what our achievements was, what things we've been putting off, what things we think we could do better in 2019. Okay, so my year, this year, started off really well. Um, I had really good intentions, I was growing, I was really happy with my path. And then by like March time, it started to decrease a little bit, it started to go a little bit downhill. Um, and I lost myself a bit. Um, I got into a situation, my path was going this way, I got into a situation that was putting my path this way, but 2019, um, yeah, so I lost myself a little bit, but I don't want to dwell on that because in the last couple of weeks I have really been working on me again and finding that person that I used to be and growing on that. Um, so yeah, that was my year pretty much. Yeah. For me 2018 was quite a growth year actually. I had quite a lot of changes in my circumstances mm -hmm. which were very scary but I feel like this this past year I've been building upon myself to set the foundation for what I need to be in 2019. Yeah. So quite it was quite a good year of exploration, changes and setting some base yeah. to build upon you've achieved quite a lot this year yeah yeah i have achieved quite a lot and i've overcome a lot um like for instance with my eating i'm pretty much like i still have days um but for me my binge eating is under control i'm not saying it's gone it's never going to yeah. be gone um and i still have moments where i do binge eat but for the most part it's under control it doesn't consume my everyday I think a big part of that is actually the the change of jobs that I made and the job that I'm in now. I actually have an hour dedicated lunch break at a set time each day, um, which is very important. Structure is very important. So I can definitely account some of that to that change. Um, I feel I've got a grip on that. I'm starting to build on routines, which I struggle with. I struggle with sticking and dedicating myself to something. Things I find hard like are being consistent with exercise and things like that. And I do set high levels for myself, I set high standards. Mm. So when I sometimes fall short of that, then I can sometimes spiral out of my program. But yeah, it's been a really good year. There's been a lot of changes, a lot of growth, and I'm really, really pleased. Um, what do I wanna put, what do I wanna leave in 2018? I feel like I've left some anger in 2018. Like. Um, I'm quite a placid person, but sometimes I do let circumstances overwhelm me and I can bring some of that anger and it, it messes with it messes with everything in your body, isn't it? it? You embody that anger. So I'd like to leave a little bit of that in 2018. Other than that, I feel like it's been quite a good growth year mm -hmm. and I'm quite happy with the way things have, things have turned out. Um, and yeah, I have achieved a lot. Like I went yeah. skiing and I I was always very a scared person. So for me, going skiing, that was a huge deal for me. Um, I went paddle boarding and I can't swim so the ocean is very scary for me. So that is just like a massive uh, thing that I've overcome. I've started jiu-jitsu, which I wanted to, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, which I wanted to do for ages and not that I'm any good at it but I've started it so so many achievements obviously changing job was a massive achievement because I was very stuck 
and stuck in my mindset. So that overcoming my own mindset was probably the biggest achievement. How about you? How about some of your achievements last year? This year? This year. <laughs> um, my achievements this year, I passed my theory test. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. I've almost completed my van. There's a few things left, like the plumbing and stuff like that, but I can't sort that out. I'm waiting for my brother to help me with that. Yeah. Um, what else have I achieved this year? I feel like this year has been the hardest year of my life, mentally. Yeah. I I did let it dictate me for a while. However, I'm not carrying that on anymore. So I'm proud of myself that I've found something within me to just be like, okay, no. Yeah. We're going to get back onto this. Yeah, your stubbornness has come back, which I like. You might not have recognised or given yourself credit for it yet, but you have overcome a, a lot. lot. Mm. Um, and you're overcoming a lot, but just to even have the strength to be back where you are now is amazing considering what you've been through. So mm. that's probably the biggest thing. I feel like achievements this year have been very like, just little daily achievements. Like today I got up and washed my hair. Today I got up and took the puppy for a walk. Just like little things. But it is those little that things. That I found so hard before. Yeah. And I, I do still have days where I really, really struggle. Like I can't even get out of bed. But it's those little tiny things that make you stronger and stronger and stronger. Absolutely. I say this all the time. This Baby year steps. has been, yeah, and this year has been a complete, like, it's been the product of that mindset. Mm. It has been baby steps and forging habits, like the small habits. So, for example, the small choices that you make can have an effect on the other choices that you make. For me, if I get up and I've religiously walked my puppies every day this this year. I don't think, or at least since I've had my new job, um, I don't think I've gone without that. Because before, if I used to be feeling down, I wouldn't walk my puppy. Mm -hmm. And then, then that would dictate other decisions I make in the day. Because I would have felt like, okay, well, I let myself off on that. I'm going to let myself slip on this. I'm going to let myself slip on this. So it is those tiny decisions that you make that make such a big difference. Yeah. And it's forcing yourself to do the things that you don't want to do for me. Mm. Obviously, with mental health, it is a challenge, always. Yeah. You're always fighting with your mind. Um, but then I always find that once you've actually got the energy and got the, like, okay, I'm going to go out and do this, then it's always a lot better. You feel a lot better absolutely. once you've done it. Absolutely. And for me, just my final point on what you've just said, I've forced myself this year to do things that are out of my comfort zone that I don't enjoy doing just for the purpose of getting them done and that friends. feeling afterwards, feeling like this is not me, I don't enjoy it, I don't like it, but I'm doing it. Uh, and then when you, for example, going for runs, I hate running, I'm not good at it, it hurts me. But when I come back, I feel a sense of achievement and pride in doing something that I wouldn't usually do and pushing myself out of my comfort zone. What would you want to leave in 2018? Um, I think not allowing myself to be sucked into a situation and for it to have a negative effect on who I am as a person. Not my situation, but just me. I don't want to lose myself in something. I want to still have that... The um, core. Yeah, I still want to be me and I want to grow and keep growing and stick to me and my morals and my beliefs and my wants and desires. So intentions for 2019. 2019 is going to be a big year and I feel it. Yeah. Like, I know everyone says that New Year and you have some of the naysayers go oh, New Year, New Me. But there is something so powerful about the New Year. Can like, we just talk about the moon? Yes. <laughs> so you know people say New Year, New Me. Me and Chelsea, whenever there's a new moon, I don't know, we get like good vibes from the moon and like everything always just, it just changes without you even knowing. Like sometimes things will happen and then you'll realise that there's been a new moon and be like, oh That's my God, the new moon. Yeah. Um, so we always say new moon, new us. Yeah, any chance there is to like start reinvent fresh. yourself, start fresh and reassess, like all these opportunities are excellent and whether you necessarily believe in astrology or the moon or anything like that, I mean, it's hard not to. Mm. The moon does affect the ocean. We are 70% water as humans, so it's hard not to believe that it would have an effect on us. However, that aside, <laughs> um, 
if you find it hard to connect the dots or if you don't necessarily believe in that just take it as a as a a prompt to address and review some of the progress and some of the things that you've been doing in the past month two months three months mm. but that opportunity to have that potential growth and to review is so powerful so i will pass my driving test in 2019 i will climb mount snowden i will do the winter walk and i will do that 5k as you are they're my four things that i your goals i know not my goals that i am going to achieve and then my habits that i'm gonna create in 2019 slash bring over to 2019 are reading before I go to bed, getting back into zero waste because that it did slip a bit, yoga at least three times a week. I don't want to say every day because I, I won't. <laughs> I won't do it every, every day. damn day. Um, and maybe by the end of the year, next year, I will be doing it every day, but I don't want to set that goal for myself that's too high and then be like, that's it. That's I'm it. not going. <laughs> um, so yeah, yoga at least three times a week and I'm going to get back into running and when I say back into running I was never really any good at it I never enjoyed it I enjoyed the feeling after but I never enjoyed going for a run so I want to get into that again um, even if it just involves getting out of the door in my running stuff running to the end of the road and back I just at least want to start somewhere <coughs> and then yeah. I can develop that's the thing about Somewhere. habits, it is definitely that, like with the difference between good habits and bad habits is that um, it's convenience, so for example mm. you need to make your good habits convenient, your bad habits inconvenient, so for example good habits convenience would be setting up your running clothes before you go to bed, next to your, uh, next to your bed, so you get up in the morning, have a wee, get in your running stuff and then that's it and then that's how you start a good habit do that a few days and then go to your front door step outside come back so you get in the habit of okay so you've mastered the habit of putting your running stuff on tick now master the habit of getting outside your front door tick do that for a week and then walk to the end of the road tick and that's when you start building a habit building bad habits would be for example leaving if you were trying to quit chocolate, I don't know, leaving chocolate bars um, around for your convenience to just to just grab them. So or with it's, running as well, linking it to running, like not setting your clothes out of an evening for the next day, snoozing your alarm in the morning and going, mm, I might do that later. Yeah, and then that becomes a habit. Your brain gets used to doing that. Oh, I'll snooze the alarm and I'll lay in bed. Like habits are just things that we do consistently. Um, and you can build good habits and we hear a lot about bad habits but you can actually build good habits and get rid of bad habits um, but there is a method to it if you make it easier for yourself and you take it in bite-sized steps it's going to end up being more sustainable um, than if you just have the intention and you don't have a plan or I don't even, even have a plan <laughs> So yeah, I like that. I like forging good habits. The final thing that I want to commit to in 2019 is eating at least two meals a day. Because that's something I've really neglected at the end of this year. Um, there was one week where I had three meals that week and it became uncontrollable. So I want to make sure that I eat at least two meals a day. I want to start looking after myself. Now I'm going to start looking after myself. Um, because, yeah, I really did. Just, I fell down the bin <laughs> in 2018. I did. So I want to get myself out of the bin. I fell down the <laughs> bin. Okay, so my intentions, things that I've got planned already for 2019 and things I will achieve. Um, firstly, we're doing a winter walk, a 20k winter walk in London on the 13th of January yeah. on a Sunday so that's setting the year off right um, also sorry just to butt in um, we're raising money for Great Ormond Street as well if I'll pop the link in the description if you want to donate any money yeah that would be really handy because we've got a target that we want to reach um, but we're doing that 
yeah, on Sunday the 13th of January in London. Um, there, I think there's still some spaces, so if you are interested yeah. as well, you can join. And it just, it gives you something right at the beginning of the year to hold you accountable. Mm -hmm. Like, because a lot of the time you can set intentions, oh yeah, I will do this. And then you put it off and put it off and put it off. So booking that in January starts the year off right. And it's only a walk, so it's not too daunting either. Yeah. Um, so 20k walk in January, we're going to climb Mount Snowden, that's, in the all, summer. that's already plur, um, <laughs> we need that and, we've, we've got the date but we haven't fully booked it, we've yeah. reserved it, kind we've of. got the date there, um, I do want to do a charity boxing match as well, oh, yeah. um, like a white collar boxing or something like that, that would be something that okay, I will do, fun. I'm getting married in 2019 as well. So that's, that's quite a big like thing to plan. So again, I'm trying to be like not overwhelming myself. Yeah, being realistic with your expectations. Exactly. I've also booked a 5K run. Mm -hmm. And as we've addressed, running is hard for me. And it's a massive challenge. So 5K is, is my Mount Everest. Um, I'm going to smash that. And then by the end of the year, I'm going to do a 10K. Yeah, so those, will. those are the intentions that I've set. Um, sort of the physical goal was pushing my body, which is actually all mind, um, mind over matter with these mm. things. So booking those things and having those things to look forward to will push me on my journey um, to progress. And then obviously forging habits. You can't run a 5K without getting your day, like your little daily, weekly runs in. And so having those goals there will hold me accountable and keep me forging those habits mm. that are going to turn into those goals um so yeah that's that's something that i'm definitely um gonna do i am also gonna commit myself to getting up early i get up early anyway um considering like for most people like, i'm always up like six half six in the morning on a weekday seven o'clock on a weekend but i want to get up even earlier and the reason for that is if you start your day right, you're going to finish it right. Mm. So when I start my day and I wake up early and I get over a yoga or a meditation in, or I, I've just moved my body, I feel so much better. Um, obviously, it goes without saying, uh, it's non-negotiable. I walk the dogs in the morning. That also forces me to get out, get some fresh air, and that changes my day. And your puppies literally howl the place down yeah. if you don't take them out they Pug was just like, demand oh. it this one's just like this the whole time yeah you went oh, on a very him. long walk today didn't you with your cousins Tired so, boy so yeah that those are the main sort of intentions um and then secondly which is really scary the poetry yeah so i write poetry um amateur poetry and i have an instagram actually so if you guys want to follow it's at the light bulb series which um yeah go check it out but i by the end of the year i want to have the first draft of my first poetry book ready to either send to publishers or to self-publish so that's going to be a massive thing um yeah. but yeah more of more of that i'll i'll leave out of this channel and i'll just be posting on mm. instagram so but that is something that I will do by the end of this year. It's all really exciting. It's all really good stuff. And I wouldn't have it any other way. So it's exactly the way I intended it to be. And I, yeah, I wouldn't change that. I like being busy. Keeps my mind healthy. New Year's are always so good. Yeah. And start your new year by getting up early and doing something. Don't go out the night before and wake up with a hangover and be like, mm, New Year, this sounds like my new year. Yeah, New Year's are for a new beginnings and refreshing, so... Like, Start it right. Yeah, spend your New Year's Eve, like... Pampering yourself. Yeah, pampering, meditating, cleaning house. It'll be cool to know what you guys want to set intentions for in 2019. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and what habits you want to make. Absolutely. We should set a challenge. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. On Instagram, let's start a challenge. For what you're going to do in 2019. Yeah. And then we will review it and just make sure that you are still doing it. Okay, yeah, so put a post up with the hashtag. What hashtag are we going to use? I will 2019. Okay, I will 2019. 
Yeah. I like that. And we'll tag us in it. Tag us in it. We'll find you. We'll keep you accountable. Yeah. And you sh will keep us accountable. Mm -hmm. And we'll be a support group to each other. And also comment in the comment section as well what what intentions you're going to set and yeah. what your goals are. And things that you're going to leave behind in 2018 as well. And also, I know this might only go up a couple of days before New Year or on New Year. But the point is, anything that you want to change, don't have to wait until one of these sort of milestones to start. Start it now or at least start planning now. Yeah. You don't have to wait for that. Like if you have something you want to do, maybe set that as your, yes, that is when I'm, it's going to change, but start, you know. Building on start. that. Exactly. Don't be too hard on yourself. Congratulate yourself for the small victories. Love yourself. Hashtag, I will, 2019. 2019. Yeah. Oh, we're really bad at high-fiving. That good. Apparently you meant to look at the elbows. Oh. Did you look at my elbow? Yeah. We're wearing similar jumpers. Okay, let's try this hand. Okay, they're both. Right. Opposite. Opposite. Opposite is opposite. I think that's the end there. <laughs>